Boy, I've been working on these guns. Working on them guns. I mean, I, I got to get the form right, but I'm, I'm working on them guns. Look, you get front row seats and backstage passes, baby. <laughs> What's good? So look, anytime that I shoot content, I do it with the intent of motivating other people, letting them know that it is possible to have a successful t-shirt printing business from home. Those who have been with me since day one have seen my progress, where I started off with a printer, just a regular, uh, in fact, it's over there. What is this thing? It's an HP Envy photo, and I was doing heat transfers, right? And I had no clients, but what I always did, and I always made sure to shoot content every single day. I was putting something up all of the time, even though it was heat transfer papers, until I was able to get enough experience under my belt, and then I started to invest in bigger equipment that I purchased myself. Um, I put them on my credit card. I mean, I maxed them out just so I can have this uh, equipment here, which was my, uh, um, I had two DTG printers. Uh, the, there was the Roland BT-12s. Then I bought my eye color. Um, from there, I bought um, a bigger printer to do sublimation with and things like that. So gradually, as I was getting business in and uh, being able to save, I was just reinvesting it back into my business, right? And so it is so doable. And then I learned uh, about the transfer game. You know, uh, well, Supercolor hit me early on. We connected, then uh, kind of reconnected when my, my buddy Stan Banks popped around. Um, and uh, he kind of opened that uh, market up for all of us, showed us what Supercolor was. I knew about Transfer Express prior. So I, I had already been familiar with some of these transfer companies, but having friends that were already part of these companies uh, helped helped a lot in, in my understanding of how transfers and things work before I got on trying to promote transfers to people that I didn't even know. I wanted to become familiar with these transfers myself. The ins, the outs, uh, made sure that I was very schooled on uh, the process of it. That's how I am. Before I promote anything, I want to make sure I'm schooled. So if I show you, if I promote anything, it's because I've used it. I've tried it a, a zillion times before I've spoken about it. And uh, and I feel comfortable in giving you that information and the link uh, to where I got it from. Let me not get off track here because what I wanted to talk about uh, was uh, being able to, 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 to be prepared, to be ready, to always have something on hand uh, when that call comes in, right? If you want to try to make money in this t-shirt biz, if you're printing from home, that is. So I was done with this really big order today. I said, I'm done. Let me go shower and stuff like that. And then I got a call that says, hey, man, um, I'm going to this Raider game. I'm not a Raider fan. I'm a diehard Steelers fan. You know that. Uh, I'm not one of those Steelers fans that hates every other team. I'll print whatever. Uh, I just love to see people wearing what they're proud of. And so I get this call as I thought I was done. It says, can you print me a couple of shirts? Um, I want drunk one, drunk two on the back and Raider, a Raider symbol or logo somewhere on the, uh, the chest pocket area. I said, no problem. I charge them 25 bucks a shirt, right? So in less than a couple of minutes, that's 50 bucks. Be prepared because I have the shirts on hand. I have the transfers on hand. Now, you can do this in vinyl as well. Or if you have a BT-12 or rolling like I do, uh, sublimation. But always have, always have uh, material on hand. Because when you get a call like this, um, 50 bucks might not be a lot to some folks. 50 bucks is a lot to me. And so being prepared to take that order, having the material on hand, and showing that client that they can trust in me going forward, that if they call me, I'll be prepared. That just helps build your business even more if that makes sense to you. So moral of the story is to always be prepared. Have material on hand, invest in yourself. Now I'm not saying go out and buy a warehouse full of stuff, but it would be nice if you had a couple different color options, maybe some sizes that go from small up to 2X or 4X or whatever else. Have a couple on hand so that you don't have to lose out on the order. You can profit from this t-shirt business. One step at a time, one day at a time. Don't get discouraged. For me, some people think I just got here out of the blue. It took a lot of work. There was teamwork. I am surrounded by some of my, my best friends um, who helped me like I helped them. And so get around people who want to see you win. My folks have always wanted to see me win and uh, we help each other along the way. It, it helped to connect with some of these other influencers who then taught me how to become a better influencer. And um, Take your time. Take your time. Don't rush. Be patient. Your time is coming. Listen to me. Don't rush. Be patient. Trust me when I tell you, your time is coming. If you really want this, if this is what you want to make a career out of, if you want to start here, trust the process. Take your time. Study. Be a sponge. Take up all the information you possibly can. Drown out the negativity and pour in all the positivity that you can possibly find. There's a lot of negative people who do not want to see you win. I, you know, firsthand am dealing with that. 
folks that don't want to see you win, but you cannot let those folks distract you from your journey, right? No one can take you off this journey but you. Draw out the noise, be prepared, and be patient. That's what I'm going to leave you with. So let me finish these Oakland Raiders shirts because they're going to be here in a couple of minutes, and hopefully that encourages somebody out there. You can do the same thing I'm doing. I promise you. I promise you from the bottom of my heart. You can do it too.